Look at this, ready? Ta da! It's a Sunday morning, about half nine, and we've got a bit of a whiteout. Everything's frozen solid. The water in the BCB bowl was solid, frozen, and that was inside the van. Uh, tents like you know, a sheet of cardboard. This ice, everything's just icy. Chicken still running around. Hey, birdie, birdie. Yeah, not sure how much the camera's picking up, but uh, yeah, you can definitely see who's gone home <laughs> by the footprints. But the frost is so heavy. But yeah, the little grass is just rock solid. Right, I've got to go and stick, stick the cat on. Good morning, Simon. Morning, I'm loving the frost. That's like a complete cover. Uh oh. Right. You can see where my feet were. The heat's um, kept the frost off. This is, uh, I didn't recognise it at first. This is my blue ground sheet. It's the black plastic cover. I didn't realise they unfolded it. No, it's just. It's like frozen solid. Yeah, look at that. I didn't actually know it. It just looked white. Didn't realise that was my blue ground sheet. Yeah. I just opened it up and it's like, I thought it was white. Let's go and investigate the jacket and see how um, if that's like concrete. Like everything else. <laughs> Get a state of it. <laughs> Lucky I don't need my jacket. Wow. And I found my gloves too. Woo! That's so sparkly. It's like a designer, it's a jingly jingly. <laughs> it's bejazzled it. Yeah, bejazzled. Bejazzled my jacket. Oh, yeah. Right. Apparently we've got to pack up and leave today. Uh, yeah, I've got my feet up. <laughs> Coffee time. Cut the panels out, around the corner. Done all right. Keeping everything topped up. Phones and... Enough lights. bed down. Um, Arctic bag, <clears throat> excuse me, summer bag and winter bag. Slept in that one last night uh, with that one over me and laid on that one. And uh, yeah that worked. Didn't wake up feeling claustrophobic like when I was in that one the first night. So yeah, uh, that's that. Right, I'm going to stop rolling that up now. Get that out of the way. Then again, I might leave it for five minutes and then roll it up. Still frosted solid. It's like half past ten now. And it looks very good. Looks good. But, um, yeah. 
definitely be putting the tent away wet. I have to dry it out when I get home. Get in there. I think slowly defrosting. Took off the rain net signs just to see the little square. And to get them to dry out because they had about an inch of frost on them. And I've got bed air. Well, I've had hat air all weekend. Right. Must get that away. Get van loaded up and then get the pod out, I think, next. Right, just lit my mess stove and shut the door, hoping to melt off some of this ice. So, the mess burner's in there. Might heat up a little bit and get some of it off. Could just shake the hell out of it, but... I'm trying to do, like, the least work possible. As you do. Where's this all packed away? Props, paddles and hammocks. Or is it just paddles and hammocks? Paddles and hammocks, there. Yeah. Check out his channel. He's got a couple of videos how he's uh, slowly been modifying this. The lids are table, retractable leads, um, sides fold down. Yeah, there was a stock trailer he acquired to modify, and it's getting and will be more modified. I forgot to mention this next to the, uh, yesterday, next to the toilet block. Uh, Manning bike clamp and a hose, so you can hose off your bike, which is pretty cool, or whatever else you want to hose off. Um, boots, quad, dirty stuff. <laughs> yeah, just clamp your bike in there. And uh, we've got communal bins up there, we've just dumped all the rubbish in the bins. But yeah, I forgot to mention that yesterday. Right, I lit my mess stove in there, big no-no, lit the mess stove in a tent, just to heat up and make the ice disperse a bit. It's kind of working, because this side obviously was a, wasn't dispersing due to the sun being coming from that way. So I think it helped. Uh, I'm in no rush to leave today. Just uh, folded up, emptied out and cleaned up Wes's folding firebox. That's the uh, firebox we used all weekend. So cheers for that, Wes. We all donated a couple of logs, a couple of logs, a couple of bags of logs each. We bought that many for the shop sold out at like two o'clock in the afternoon and as you saw in the video, me and the little tractor thing, we had to uh, bring them up and the logs were delivered both days because uh, obviously there's about 10 or 12 of us up here sharing a camp. <laughs> so, no one wanted to carry all the firewood. Well, he offered anyway. Farmer up here is great, the landowner. Yeah, really great little place, great community. Again, there's the uh, lid for Wes's props and paddles table. All homemade. The box there must be for his fire. Can't get the wind brakes down now, but I might use them to hang a few things up that I stupidly left out last night in the frost. But I'm not the only one. There were several chairs, uh, food, water, loads of people left stuff out. But it's all good. It's all good. Didn't rain. Everything is rainproof. I shut the door last night, like I said because um, of the frost and then um, I had a BCB bottle just there it was frozen uh, well not frozen solid but there was bits of ice in it when you were sort of shaking it but if I left the boot open it definitely would have frozen solid there's crackers I've got a unicorn in there somewhere too but I'm not sure where he's vacated to oh I've been there somewhere I took all the bags of rubbish down took about well me and Pops took about three or four bags down each to be consumed quite a bit, as you do. I've not seen him yet though, Josh. Is it Josh? I can't remember. Is he up or still asleep? Don't know. Yeah, most people are cleared out. I took a few uh, 360 degree photos yesterday from various spots on the site. So people could sort of download them, zoom in and then you can just scroll across as if you're turning around. Guys over there getting packed away. Um, 
yeah there's been some awesome kits awesome setups all the people have been awesome everyone's had a cracking time like just groups of random people standing around chatting and then like someone comes over and goes oh do you know each other no we've just met <laughs> Um, but we'll have a quick look at this TP because I didn't see much of it yesterday. Um, I kind of like the awning. Um, Frontier stove, I think that is. Little dome tent. You awake? I don't even know if he's in there. I've seen him today, have you? Have you seen him? No, no, no. How's he up? Morning. Let's get a little video of your teepee. How did you sleep? Did you sleep alright? Cool. And you're the designated window cleaner. Everyone's got a job. You have a good weekend? Cool. Was that just from his tent? It's from the rest of the ones I cut and You're going to put it in the call box take it home? Right, everyone's going. We've lost the uh, white V dub. Um, Frontier is all packed up. Wes is just gone. Um, everyone else is all squared away. I'm literally just casually doing FA, just literally walking around doing no packing at all. I'm in no rush. I just came back and thought, why is the water not boiled? And I didn't put a lid on there. It's, uh, it's hot, <laughs> but it's not boiling. So I've just put the lid on and about an hour later. So that's taking forever to boil. Right, going to be very quick because I'm about to run out of memory on my phone. There's only what, three other people left. Um, I'm all packed up, just about to go, head off home. I've literally just got to stuff the tent in the bag. I've been waiting for it to dry out. It's nice and, well, it's 99% dry now. Fold up my chair, whack down the back seat, and then go. Uh, it's been a fantastic weekend. I'm trying to rush this now because my phone's about to die again on memory. Brilliant to meet everyone, new people, old faces. Uh, it's been a great weekend. Everyone's been all right, everyone's done all right. Uh, it's been great. Uh, the facilities are great. The shops are right. The uh, toilet box is fantastic, and uh, everything worked well that I wanted to use. Um, but I've got to stop bringing so much crap. I wasn't going to bring these, but last night we decided they were good because uh, the wind was uh, not windy, but it picked up and sitting by a fire, it did help the wind keep it all away. Um, oh, where's you were going to keep that bag? I'm going to shove that in there in case I ever see you again. <laughs> I'll just leave it in my va van in case I ever see you again. Um, yeah, so that's it for me and crackers. Quack, quack. And all the ducks that are running around. Not ducks, sorry, chickens. A um, couple of bits of timber left over we didn't burn. Throw them somewhere. In a bin or in the van, I don't know yet. And uh, we'll get back to you next time. So yeah, that was Camp Shaky. So I didn't do much video in them. What I videoed was just clips and weird shit and random stuff. But I hope you all like the, uh, the bow drill video in the photos and videos I did take um, it's been an awesome time and uh, I could do a stay in another couple of nights but I've got work tomorrow um, so back to reality so 73 from M6 CTP uh, or and, uh, 73 from Charlie Tango 9 for 1 and it's goodbye from me Wow Sly that's all our footprints here <laughs> it's weird now everyone's gone but uh, yeah I'll catch you next time and um, thanks for watching and uh, yeah, big shout out to everyone I met this weekend. It's been awesome, it's been great. It's been absolutely fantastic. I've loved it, but it's uh, unfortunately time to go. So that's it from uh, Wow Sly at Camp Shaky. And thanks to uh, everyone who organized it. And uh, again, Spence, Sir Spenny, Sir Spence. Uh, cheers for the ticket, mate, I really appreciate it. I tried like mad last minute to get a ticket, couldn't, and then, um, yeah, Spence gave me his ticket because he'd uh, hurt his leg and couldn't attend. So I really appreciate that, Spence. Um, and I'm sorry you didn't win the jackal knife. I did buy a couple of tickets for you, but um, maybe next time. Maybe next time. Right, that's it. Time to get my hands cold and put this away. Um, cheers for watching. Take care, everyone.
Right, there's all the kit packed away after a weekend at Camp Shaky. It's all packed up, ready to go. Uh, the Bergen food storage bag. I saw my sleep kit and shelter. Clothes and then my like stuff I need around the camp. Bottle of water, although there's um, Camelback and um, BCB bottles in there. Arctic sleeping bag, summer sleeping bag, my winter mummy bag, mixed with large ones in there. Obviously with the sleep kit. So that the two rocket pouches go on the Bergen, so that's um, the bug out bag, as you'd call it. Radio go box there, uh, solo go box there. Random bits of electrical stuff that I may or may not need, like fan, USB fan, inverter, not really necessary, but that's sort of secondary to the go box. Uh, it's got all the lights, that's basically a light out box, and then general stuff I might want to take camping. Summer or winter, solar panel, Got a bit of mud there where it was stood up on that side. Um, but yeah, we're all packed up and squared away, ready to go. Um, everything went well, really well. Um, as I said to a few people, I went with everything flat. I made sure my uh, walkie-talkies were flat. Um, three of them were flat. Um, made sure um, my head torch was flat. Everything I needed, I wanted, was flat. Even that was on 12.2 or 12.4 when I left. Um, the only thing that was charged was, was it my phone? Um, my USB battery was flat and uh, my head torch was flat. So I wanted to um, see how I'd cope setting up a camp um, with everything I needed flat battery wise. Um, so when I got there, I had to charge my battery bank, I had to charge my head torch. Um, it nearly killed that because the first day it was just cloud, I got no charge at all and the second day i managed to get a bit of power in uh and then fully recharge everything that's fully charged now from obviously friday uh, saturday and sunday um done really well that's just some random bag that's not mine that <laughs> black one car care i think yeah all the lights and leads are still in there uh the battery's on 12.2 so, so no it's not fully charged it's back down to where it was because obviously i was using it on sunday before i left to charge up everything. Um, so yeah, that's it. All, all that's missing from this kit is the tent and the windbreakers. And they're in the cupboard, and this is all going to go in the cupboard. And run the shed. Apart from the radio go box. And that's it, really. Um, so that's the debriefing. Kit all squared away. Everything worked. I was really surprised. Um, yeah, I built the go box in half an hour, 45 minutes before I left, like a day or two before I left. Um, but yeah, I think that's what it is to mention, really. Um, yeah, stay tuned. Uh, again, fantastic weekend at Camp Shaky. I can't wait to go again. I need to get out more. I really need to get out more. Still me in. But it's good. good way of testing kit. Uh, enjoying a hobby of camping, like... Bit of bushcraft thrown in there. Prepping wires was fantastic. Uh, radio side of things, I didn't use the radio go box because other people were using radios and we found out what we could see by the surroundings. There was just hills like everywhere. Um, we were right in the valley. Um, but that's fine because that's where the CTX comes in. Uh, you just pack up your radio gear and carry it up to the hill. Um, all sorted there. Um, but yeah, great weekend. Uh, now I've got to put all this on the wash because it stinks of smoke. <laughs> That's the new shirt. I'm um, not going to be putting that in the bag, bug out bag. It's going to get creased up and squashed up pieces. My old black fleece, dummy proud for years. It was just a cheap eight pound as the one. That's been replaced by that green one I've got now. Um, and the inflatable air mattress. That's going to go back upstairs. And of course the civvies I turned up with on Friday. Stink of smoke covered in mud. And that's just my normal jacket. My uh, all-weather one stays in the car. And the spare trousers I didn't wear. They can get hung back up. And that can be put in one of decorating clothes or something. And pegs. <laughs> I've got to put the pegs back in the cupboard with this lot. Because they're part of the tent. The bug out bag's got its own pegs. Right. That's me waffling on too much. Way too much. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed all the uh, camp, sh camp shaking videos. And uh, the stuff I've featured on my uh, solo go box. Um, but yeah, catch you on the next video. Take care. Oh, and as for the kitchen, <laughs> obviously the kitchen box.
the Lake on Land Rover storage box is missing. Yeah, that stays in the back of the van. It's half full of food. A couple of bottles of water in there, meth, stove, uh, transio cook set, um, gas stove, all that stays in the back of the van in case I ever want food while I'm out and about. Yeah, we know I generally stop at takeaway, certain takeaway drive throughs but um, yeah, it's still handy to have a full kitchen prepped in the back of your van, uh, along with all the winter waterproof cut oven and the overhead locker. And of course, a selection of radios. <laughs> anyway, yeah, in case you're wondering where the kitchen is, that stays in the van all the time. And the go box can sit in the back bedroom. Uh, it faces south, so with a sudden low this time of year, the sun passes through this window in the morning. So this is going to sit in the window on charge, not taking up any room. Can't be seen from outside. So over a power cut, just uh, grab the light out box and go. Off want to go camping, get the box and the solar panel and go. <laughs> or portable radio or whatever else I want to do with it. Yeah, that's just going to sit. And the one's all doing its own thing.